going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking draw the log logic diagram that corresponds to the vhdl description of the of a combinational circuit given below label all inputs outputs gates and wires correctly they should be derived from the given vhdl vhdl description okay first of all here you can see we have input and output here the main thing is we have to find out the input and the output in the port they have given the input we have x1 input x2 x3 x4 these are input f is output okay and also here we have the gates gates and the connected uh, yeah connected gates g0 is a not gate let's draw that one g0 is a not gate and let's see what goes in that and goes out of that so for g0 x1 is go inside of this so let's draw x1 go inside of this one and uh, n1 is going out of this this is x1 and this is n1 and uh, for g1 g1 is a not gate again g1 is a not gate and for this one n3 is going in okay so it means it's starting from somewhere here and n3 is going in and n4 is going out of this n4 is going out of this now let's go look at g2 g2 is an and gate <coughs> g2 is an and gate this is g1 this is g0 now g2 is an AND gate for this one x2 is going in x2 is going in this is x2 <coughs> x2 is going in and uh, also n1 is going in g2 n1 is going in so this n1 this one is g2 this n1 we have to connect it with here okay sorry for the messy diagram you can directly current connect it here as well you can put it straight right here instead of writing maybe i, I will do it right now so instead of i copy the same thing and put it straight so it's look neat <coughs> so i put that not yet copy that not gate g0 this is our G2 and this one is X1 and this one is N1 okay connected right here so this one we can get rid of this that is one of the input of G2 <coughs> and the output of G2 is N2 N2 is output and then g2 is g3 is another and gate g3 is another and gate for this one input is x2 we already have created x2 so we just have to make a wire from here and then connect it with this one okay input is x2 and uh, another input x3 x x3 and the output is n3 so this one we thrown right here we can just connect it right here it's coming from here so instead of this i copy that one here and re erase i'm gonna erase that part this is g1 and n4 g1 and n4 and n3 is going in but for this one the output is n3 so this is where it's coming from <clears throat> so we don't need this part i just copied it right here okay now let's go to the next one again g4 g4 is an and gate g4 and for this one x3 is going in so i brought a bring a wire from this x3 and connect to this one and also x4 is going inside so I make another one x4 
going inside and output is n5 so for this one the output is n5 and after that g5 g5 for this one input is x1 hmm. g5 the input is x1 here we have x1 let's let me bring a wire from here The input is x1 and uh, another input is n4. So actually it's better to draw the g5 inside because n5, uh, another input is n4, n4 is here. So I directly connect it over there. Okay. So the AND gate is somewhere here connected like this okay one of the input is n4 and another input is x1 so i bring a, another wire from here and connect with this one like this <coughs> so this is g g5 right here <coughs> g5 it's better to write inside of this thing so it, it looks clear g5 g3 g2 g4 okay now we have g5 we have x1 input n4 input and output is n6 for the from this one n6 is releasing okay now finally we have an or gate and for this one input is n2 n5 and n6 n2 n5 and 6 so it should be somewhere here n2 n5 and n6 these are the input for this one and the output is f and that's it that's a given circuit that's how we design the circuit from the given vhdl code i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn digital logic design too there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch the too don't forget to subscribe see you next time